But I went to Washington, 56 to 60. Okay. And I got a job when I was there working. I read in the newspaper. I was so... I mean, I was pretty bored at school, and I read one day. It was great. The best thing about the Washington was the National Theater, because that was a time when shows kept opening up, you know. It was a, it was a very hot, out-of-town tryout. And uh, I read in the paper that the assistant to the manager was going to go to New York to become, a, uh, become an actor. And there was a post was open. And the only requirement was she had to be stage struck. So I left. I remember I was in the Library of Congress writing a, a, my thesis on Philip Barry. And uh, I left, just ran down to the National Theater. And there were about 200 guys waiting in line. And I went in, Scott Kirkpatrick was his name. And I said, the only requirement, you said, is to be stage struck. And I swear to you, if there's a test, there's nobody more stage struck than I am. And on that grounds, well, I should get the job. And I did. And you know who the guy was who vacated the job? It was Warren Beatty. And he left to go to New York in, uh, in 59. Or something. And uh, anyway, it was great. But then I, the priests came to a matinee one day. I mean, it was the pleasure of his company, a matinee. And I was selling orange drink. I checked coats and to the lost and found and sent out the mailings. And, did the inter intermission, and I felt I was running, that everything was dependent on me. And Father Selinger, this Jesuit, was very crowded, you know, and so he was there. He said, oh, you're enjoying this play? I said, yes. He said, uh, why? I said, well, it sort of fits into my uh, thesis. You know, I'm doing my thesis on Philip Barry, and, and you know, and this about, you know, and and I said, excuse me. I said, and so I gave this man, said, I want two orange drinks. And I gave him two orange drinks. And Father Sound just said, you're working here? And I said, yes. He said, without permission? I said, well, yes. And so he said, be in my office. And it was horrible. And it was, you know, so I got in a lot of trouble and, and uh, had to. Uh, Georgetown was very small in those days. It was really like a high school.